So what I'm doing is I'm adding new thermal paste, the IC diamond, to my girlfriend's GPU because it seems to be running a little hot. It's making her case run a little hot. So we got 76 degrees Celsius, which is 162 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, here's her processor data. And uh, she's got her World of Warcraft up. And it's running that hot just sitting there. So I'm going to see if Icy Diamond doesn't run that a little bit cooler. It's a uh, GTX 460 um, I'm going to take it apart and I'll get back a quick look at her PC before I shut it down. It's a big case. We've got the Asus Maximus 6 Extreme with that front overclocking accessory. It's a pretty nice board. Runs games and everything really well. Graphics card's a little small, but that's next. So let's get this graphics card. It's always a good idea to wear an anti static wristband, ankle band or something along those lines so you don't short out anything with some sort of static shock. So here's the graphics card, GTX 460. It's a nice little thing, it's about two years old now. So we'll start by undoing the screws. The screws have little springs on them. Make sure they stay together. sure if there's other ones but we'll see looks like that's it it kind of sits up in this little spot here it doesn't want to let go though see what else we can do. So after a little bit of tugging, not too much so I don't want to break anything, it broke loose. Must have just been stuck there for, look at all crusty that is. Gross. Alright, take the power out. Set the heat sink aside. And I like to use 91% alcohol. Some Q-tips and some paper towel. I'm gonna clean this off. I'll get back in a sec. Figure I'll show a little bit of how to actually get the goop up if people are wondering. So take the alcohol, put a little bit on. Not too much. Make sure it's. I like to dab it. So I can get the uh, alcohol to loosen up the the hardness of it works really well. It's not really coming up, dabbing it, but in a second here.
pretty much just wipes away pretty easily. I'm not doing much pressure. Flip it inside out. Clean it, clean this up, clean this one up up here, and then, um, okay, finished off cleaning that. See how clean that is. Also, this. Now, I'm going to apply the thermal paste is icy diamond give it a shot looked on forums people have said that this can scratch when you're trying to remove it if this works after I do it then I'm not gonna remove it again it's already two years old so let's give it a shot I do know that this stuff is very thick I'm just going to do a real big line right down the middle because people say so you can get air bubbles and I don't want air bubbles. bit of goop off. There we go. Should be enough. bad boy find where it lines up connect our fan on the line Set it down. Gonna flip it over. Line the the things. There we go. Got my little screws. cross pattern here. I'm not going to tighten it all the way at first. It'll be a little tighter than that. Actually, I'm going to go around the circle here. Try to squish it. one didn't 
doesn't seem to go in right. There we go. So once again, I'm going to tighten from this corner. Not too tight. Alright, that should be it. Got it's all assembled again. Got thermal paste between the contacts. Down in there. So, let's give it a rip. So, unfortunately, not much of an improvement. Just think this graphics card runs pretty hot. It doesn't have proper cooling. Maybe we'll get a different cooler if she doesn't decide to get a new graphics card right away. So let's see what we've got in Fahrenheit. It's 156. It's a bit better, but not, not a lot. But what can you expect from just changing some paste? So uh, thanks for watching the video.